Hello, I'm Simon Whistler, you're watching the Today I Found Out YouTube channel, and in the video today we're looking at why we call a crazy person a basket case. At first, basket case didn't mean someone who was crazy. Instead, it referred to someone who had a physical disability. The phrase has its origins in World War I. Funnily enough, one of the earliest known documented instances of the phrase was actually in denial that basket cases actually existed, as found in a bulletin issued in March of 1919 on behalf of the United States Surgeon General. The Surgeon General of the Army denies that there is any foundation for the stories that have been circulated of the existence of basket cases in our hospitals. But just what was the Surgeon General referring to when he said basket case? When this bulletin came out, many newspapers felt the need to define the phrase for their audiences, so apparently the phrase wasn't widely used at this point. They defined it as a soldier who had lost both arms and legs and therefore must be carried in a basket. That's from the Syracuse Herald in March of 1919. Whether they were literally carried around in baskets, as the newspaper stated, or the phrase originally was just referencing the then common colloquial idea of associating baskets with beggars or helplessness, given the grisly nature of World War I and anecdotal reports, it seems seems plausible enough that there were probably at least some basket cases, despite the Surgeon General's denial. As you can imagine, the original meaning of basket case was never incredibly common. It wasn't until World War II that the phrase prominently resurfaced. Near the end of the war, in May of 1944, once again, the Surgeon General attempted to deny that there were any basket cases. There is nothing to the rumors of so-called basket cases, cases of men with both arms and legs amputated. After World War II, the original meaning fell out of favor altogether, likely due to the literal lack of basket cases. However, for a while, the phrase expanded to mean someone with a physical disability who was unable to get around by themselves easily. Today, of course, it has further evolved to mostly be a slang phrase for someone with a mental disability or someone who seems to have been moved to act in a crazy fashion for whatever reason. So I really hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please do give us a thumbs up below and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Also, over there on the right, a couple of other videos you might enjoy if you enjoyed this one, and thank you for watching.